Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here from the Disk Drill team and today we're going to be taking a look at creating a disk image in the latest version of Disk Drill. Now why would you want to create a disk image? A disk image, what it essentially is, is a whole image of your drive, byte by byte, and this is super useful in the event that anything ever goes wrong. It's essentially a backup of a drive, it's a mirror image of a drive so that you can always use it to access data off of in the event, let's say, you have a main drive and that drive physically fails. Well, having a disk image of that drive allows you to go back in and recover data off of that image, even if the drive is completely physically failed and not working. So it's always useful to have something like this. Now, how you go about this is simply going to the top here in disk drill, clicking that backup button, and then right here, the second option is backup into a DMG image, so a disk image here. And as you can see, the DMG backup is going to go ahead and open here, and the wizard will read off to you as you see here. You basically are going to need to choose a drive or partition that you want to back up. You're going to want to choose the location where you're going to want to back that up to. Obviously, in this case, you're going to want to back up to another drive. So whether that's an external drive, another internal drive, um, it's you know noted that you want to have a backup, obviously, on off of, I should say, off of the drive. That way, if that drive does fail, your backup doesn't go with it. And then last but not least, once the backup's created, you can actually use disk drills, attach disk image to mount said image so you can recover data off of it. So at this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and select the drive that I want to create an image of. In this case, I'm just gonna use for the sample purposes my SanDisk Cruiser Glide here. This is my pen drive. If I want to create a disk image of this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click the backup button here. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the location at which I wanna store it. Again, ideally you want this to be off of the drive that you're trying to back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this on my desktop folder here and hit save. And then from here, it's now creating a backup disk image. So again, this is a one-to-one -one copy of whatever drive I selected in this case, my USB drive here. This can be an external drive, this can be your operating system drive, whatever. Um, and then from there, once it creates a disk image, you can always open this again in disk drill uh, by attaching the disk image, which I'll show you once that's done creating here. So again, depending on the disk size and how much you have, of course, on the actual disk, the process may take longer or shorter. So we're gonna go ahead and let that run. So once your disk image is fully created, you'll get a confirmation message saying that it was successful. And from there, you can either go ahead and go to the location of which it was stored in. So for example, mine, I put I moved it here to my documents folder instead. Now I see it right here, the SanDisk Cruiser Glide.dmg. So I can open the disk image that way, or I can actually manually mount it through disk drill, clicking on the backup button, clicking on attach non-mountable images. From there, heading to the location in which it's stored, in this case right here. And double click that and then from there it's going to go ahead and manually mount my image so you can see here in this case it had a recovery partition in it that image has now been manually mounted here and if you go back to my finder over here you can see right here under my list of drives those two images or those two partitions i should say have been unmounted from the image that i created here so it's that simple and easy to create a disk image with disk drill and again this prevents in the event that if you ever have a hard drive that goes bad if you create a backup of it with a disk image even if that drive is physically inaccessible you have that disk image backup which you can then go ahead and access and recover your files and data from that simple and easy with disk drill check it out today